Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we are in chapter 1, matter. And now we're going to focus on the subtopic of 1.2, small concept, part 3 of the video. So in this video, we're going to define and perform calculation for each of the following concentration measurement. So we have molarity and we have the molality. So we're going to cover 1 and 2 here in part 3 of the video. For the rest, which is 3, 4, and 5, we're going to do that in part 4. Okay? So, without any further ado, let us start. So, before we go straight into the representation of concentration, we need to understand what is a solution. So, solution basically consists of a solute, solvent, and as well as the solution. So, a solute, as what you can see here, uh, is the substance that present in a smaller amount in a solution. Mean one solvent will help to dissolve the solute and usually present in a larger amount in a solution. So the mixing of solute inside the solvent and they dissolve together will produce a solution. So a solution is a homogeneous mixture, usually a clear solution, when an amount of solute dissolve completely in a solvent. So mostly in this chapter, we're going to assume that our solute, for example, an ACL, common salt atau penggaram, dissolve in water, we're going to see that the older solute will dissolve completely and form a salt solution. Okay? Now, as mentioned, there are several ways of first to represent concentration. So, there are five ways, which is molarity, molality, mole fraction, percentage by mass, as well as percentage by volume. So, now we're going to look at number one and number two. Okay? So, for molarity, molarity are basically the number of moles of a, soli of a solute uh, in 1 dm cube of a solution. And 1 dm cube here is also referred to 1 liter. So, because of that, the unit of molarity is going to be mole per liter or mole per dm cube, or you can call it as molar or using a capital letter M, okay, which this represent molarity. And also, and also here I have attached the footnote here, where 1 liter is equal to 1 dm cube, in, and it is also equal to 1000 cm cube, and it's also equal to 1000 ml. So these are interchangeable. Okay, so to understand more about this, let us look into the example. So, for example number 1, we have to determine the molarity of a solution of sucrose, 1.71 gram of C12H22O11. So this one is the sucrose. Okay, dissolve in 0 0.5 liter of water. Okay, so here are given the mass of sucrose, and here is the volume of the water. So we need to find the molarity. Okay, so the molarity are basically mole of solute divided by the volume of the solution. So, you can imagine that we have a certain amount of sucrose, okay, which is sucrose here, 1.71 gram, dissolved in 0 0.5 liter of water, okay, so that it can form a solution of sucrose solution, okay. So, going back to the question, which is to determine the molarity, the volume of the solution uh, we know that it's equal to 0 0.5 liter, okay, because it's in the 0 0.5 uh, liter of water. And then the mole of solute, we can find it by dividing the mass of the sucrose given with the molar mass. So we need to find the mole of solute first. So the mole of solute, which is the mole of the sucrose solute, which is NC12H22O11, is equal to the mass of sucrose divided by the molar mass of sucrose. So the molar mass of sucrose, I'm going to put it here, where 12 of the carbon atoms uh, multiply by the 12 gram per mole, and we have 22 um, atoms of hydrogen multiplied by 1, and 16 gram per mole, and we have, we need to multiply by 11, because we have 11 oxygen here. So the molar mass that we got is 342 gram per mole. So we can now find the moles by dividing the mass of the sucrose solution divided by the molar mass. 
So at last, we're going to get the moles to be 5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole. So now we're going to substitute the value of the number of mole here into this uh, formula of molarity. So 5 times 10 to the power of 3 mole divided by 0 0.5 liter. So at last, we're going to get 0 0.01 molar. Or you can use it as mole per liter. Okay, so both of these are accepted. Okay, now we're going to do another example, which is example 2. So how many grams of potassium dichromate K2Cr2O7 is required to prepare 250 ml of 2.1 molar potassium dichromate solution? Okay, so we need to find the mass of K2Cr2O7. Okay, and we know that the volume of the solution here is 250 ml. And then the concentration is 2.16 molar, which is the molarity. Okay, because capital M refers to a molarity. And you know that the formula of molarity is equal to the number of mole of solute divided by volume of solution. As what you can see, uh, the molarity is given as 2.16 and the volume of solution is given as 250 ml. Remember, the mole, the molarity here refers to mole per liter. So you have to change the ml into liter. So you're going to become B is equal to 0 0.25 liter because you're going to divide it by 1000. Okay, so... Um, in order to find the number of mole, molarity is going to be multiplied by volume of solution. So the molarity is 2.16 multiplied by volume in liter. Okay, careful. And then per liter and liter going to be cancelled out and we're going to have the mole. So the number of mole is 0.54 mole. So from the mole, we can get the mass of the dichromate, which is K2C07. Because we have learned earlier that mole is equal to mass divided by molar mass. Okay, so in order to get the mass, mole, we need to multiply that by the molar mass of K2Cr2 or 7. So, mole here is 0 0.54 mole, and the molar mass of K2Cr2 or 7 is 2 times 39.1, okay, and 2 times 52, because this is the molar mass of the chromate, ion, the chromate atom, and then we have 7 at seven oxygen atom, which is 7 times 16. So at last, we're going to get the mass of K2Cr2O7 to be 158.87 gram. Because mole and per mole are going to cancel out, and then we're going to get the gram here. Okay? Now, we're going to focus on the next representation of concentration, which is molality. So molality is basically defined as the number of moles of solute per kilogram of solvent in a solution. So um, we have the formula here, which is mole of solute divided by the mass of the solvent, which is in kilogram. And that is why the unit of our molality is going to be mole per kilogram, or you can put it as molal, representing molality, or a small letter m. Okay, remember that the previous representation is molarity so they have r here so the molarity is basically number of mole of the solute divided by the volume of solution in liter okay but now we are talking about molality okay so we're talking about molality we're still using the number of mole but using the mass of the solvent in kilogram okay mass of solvent in kilogram okay and i also given you a footnote here is that the mass of solution is equal to the mass of solute plus the mass of solvent so you can imagine that let's say if you have 10 gram of sample a or solute a you dissolve inside a water that have 100 gram of water okay so when you dissolve it together and you put it inside here the total mass of the solution gonna be 10 plus 100 gram so you're gonna get 110 gram 
Okay, so that is what is meant by the statement here. To understand more about this, let us look into the example. So molality. So for to calculate the molality of a solution, uh, we need to calculate the molality of the solution containing 40 gram of KCl in 190 gram of water. As you know that the formula of molality going to be mole of solute divided by the mass of the solvent. So we know that our solvent here is water, which is 190 gram. Okay, and KCl here okay, is our solute, which is 40 gram. Okay, so we, we, the mass of the solvent is already given, which is 190 gram. But we need to convert that into kilogram. Okay, so it's going to be 0 0.19 kilogram. Okay, the number of solute, the number of mole of solute can be obtained by dividing mass by the molar mass. So we're going to do that. We're going to find the mole of solute first. So the number of mole of KCl is equal to mass divided by molar mass, where the mass is 40 gram, divided by the molar mass, which is K is 39, Cl is 35.5. So by dividing mass with molar mass, we're going to get 0 0.5369 mole of KCl. So we're going to substitute this mole here into this equation. And we know that the mass of solvent is need to be in kilogram. And now we're going to put it here, which is 0 0.5369 mole per 0 0.19 kilogram. So once you do the maths, you're going to get 2.826 mole per kilogram. Okay. Now for example number two, what is the molar concentration of a solution prepared by dissolving 0 0.30 mole of CuCl2 in 40 mole of water? Given here is the molar mass of water, which is 18.02 gram per mole. So, the molar concentration here refers to molality. And we know that the molality will have a formula of the mole of solute divided by the, divided by the mass of the solvent in kilogram. So, the moles of the solute has already been given here, which is the mole of solute will be 0 0.30 mole of CuCl2. And we are also given the moles of the solvent, which is the water here, which is 40 mole of H2O. But the question asks us to find the mass of the solvent, which is in kilogram. So we can relate the number of mole with the mass and molar mass. And here are the things that we need to find, which is the mass of the solvent. So we can find the mass of the water as a solvent, which is number of mole multiplied by its molar mass. So the mole given here is 40 mole, and the molar mass is given in the equation, which is 18.02 gram per mole. So mole and per mole can be cancelled out, and once we do the maths here, we're going to get 70.8 gram. Alright, and now we have the number of mole of the solute, and also the mass of the water. But Please be careful because this one is in, is in the unit of gram, but here for molality, it needs to be in kilogram. So you need to convert the gram into kilogram first, which is 720.8 gram of water going to equal to 0 0.7208 kilogram of water. So the mole of solid going to be 0 0.30 mole divided by 0 0.7208 kilogram. And lastly, you're going to get 0 0.416 mole per kilogram. All right. On the last slide here, we're going to see the relationship between molarity, molality, and also density. So you know that when a solute dissolves in a solvent, we're going to produce a solution. And in terms of mass, we can say that the mass of the solvent end up with the mass of the solute will produce the mass of the solution. And when we focus on the solute and solution, we can help us in order to get the molarity, where from the mass of the solute, we can find the number of mole first, where mass divided by the molar mass, we're going to get the mole. So from the number of mole divided by the volume of solution, where the volume of solution you can obtain from the density here. Okay, so the density, uh, for example, if you know the mass here, 
mass of the solution and the density is given, for example, 1.3, you can determine the volume of the solution. So the volume of the solution will be inserted here. Okay. And for molality, we're going to focus on these two parts here, which is solvent as well as the solute. So the number of mole can be obtained similarly, which is mass divided by the molar mass. And the mass of solvent is basically given in the question. So what I'm trying to say here is that the examples that we have did so far is a simple and direct to the point. However, in certain question, for example, in exam, it can be quite uh, complicated and you need to take uh, the relationship between one another. So we will be using, uh, we will be doing more exercises in tutorial. So I hope they're going to um, provide you a more solid understanding after this. Okay. So I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye.